right, unit 10, formative one, domain range. Last unit, guys, almost to the end of the year. All right, so domain and range are gonna be some newer words. Domain. Okay, is going to be our X values in a point. Okay, so if we had a point like on a graph, like four comma three, the four is the domain, is X value. The range is gonna be the Y value. In this case would be a three. Okay, so here we have a set of points. So just a couple things. This is what we always put around a set of points are these um, braces. Okay, and then in here we have two comma three, that's one point, it's two to the right, three up. Okay, so we're gonna find the domain and range. Now when we look for the domain and range, we never repeat, okay? So here we have, so all my x values are gonna be the domain. So I have a two, I have a three. Okay, now I have a two again, I already have it, so do not write it again, don't repeat. And then I have a negative six. So then my domain is two, three, and negative six. Okay. Now our range is gonna be all my Y values. So I have a three, I have a six, I have a five, and I have a four. So it didn't repeat anything. So that's good. No, it doesn't really matter, but so the range is three, six, five, and four. Okay. The next question that asks is, is it a function? This will be easier to see on a graph, but basically a function is when the no X values repeat. Okay. X values do not repeat. Okay, so we're gonna go back and look at just our X's. I crossed them out, but we had a two and a three, no repeat. Now here I have a two again, so my two repeated. So this is no, it is not a function. All right, so this is a mapping. You might've seen this in middle school. So this is a mapping and it works out like a T table. So this is my X values and these are my Y values. So again, your X values are your domain and my Y values are the range, okay? So it says find the domain. So I'm just gonna put a D here. So my domain is gonna be negative three, four, and five. Okay, my range is going to be my y values, which is negative two and zero, okay? Now again, last question, is it a function? So now here, in the, with a mapping, you have a negative three is attached to a negative two, okay? The four is attached to a negative two. So have I repeated my x's yet? There's no repeats. And then the five goes to the zero, okay? So now, did any of these repeat? The answer is no. So this is a function. Now, a couple things, just show you an example. Let's say the negative three also went to the zero. Now the negative three goes to the negative two and it goes to a zero. So this would not be a function because the negative three is used twice. All right, so if, again, find the domain and range. So the domain Okay, is gonna be all my x values. So now remember, this is your x. So we're just gonna follow the line across, okay? And here's one of the points. So that is a negative two. Keep going, there's a negative one. There's a zero, twice though, right? You got this one and this one. Keep going, you got a two. And we got a three. So those are all my domain values. Range is the Y values. Okay, I'm gonna change colors. All right, so we're gonna go this way. Okay, there we have a four. Go 
go down, okay, we have a 2. Go down, we have a 1. And then there, there we have a negative 1 and a negative 2. Okay. All right, so there's my domain range. All right, let me see if I can erase all this stuff so we can see now. Okay, so now whenever we have a graph and we want to know if it's a function or not, we're going to do what we call a vertical line test. So a vertical line, you know, is up and down. Okay, and we also do vertical line tests, like initials VLT. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to draw vertical lines through all the points or through the graph. And if you only hit one point, then it's a function. So there I hit one point. Here I hit one point. Now here I hit two points, so this is no, it is not a function. Okay. And you don't have to keep going. Okay. All right, so in this one, let me move that out of the way, I'm not sure if it's okay. So given a function, okay, so now this is a new um, this is a new terminology, so it just means the function. Every time you see that, it's just the y value, okay? So it says given a function, 2x plus 1, and a domain of negative 2, 0, 1, and 4, find the range. So remember, my domain is my x values, okay? So this is a substitution problem. So we're going to substitute in negative 2 in for our x, a 0 in for x, a 1 in for x, and a 4 in for x. Okay, it's just four substitution problems. So let's go ahead and start. So we have f of x equals 2x plus 1. Okay, so we're going to do the first one, negative 2. So now negative 2 is going to replace my x. So I have f of negative 2, so it's a function of negative 2. 2, now instead, every replace every x with a negative 2. So negative 2 times I'm sorry, 2 times negative, so negative 4 plus 1 is 3. Okay, so that one's 3. Now we're going to go through and do a 0. So we have 2, and instead of x, I'm going to put a 0. We know that's 0, so my answer is 1. And now we're going to go to 1. So 2, and instead of the x, we put a 1 value. Okay, so we have 2 plus 1 equals 3. That's a negative 3 over here, sorry. Okay, and then the 4. So 2 times 4 plus 1. So 8 plus 1 is 9. Okay, so these are all my answers. Okay. Let's do another one like that. Okay, so we have... Sorry, let me get rid of that. I don't know why that's down there. All right. Okay, so we have f of x, right? So remember, that is just the y, and my domain is my x. Okay. So I have f of x equals 1 half of x plus 4. So I'm going to substitute those in one at a time. So f of negative 4 equals 1 half times negative 4 plus 4. So half of negative 4 is negative 2 plus 4, and that gives me a 2. There's one answer. So now I'm going to do 0. Oops. So, f of 0 equals 1 half times 0 plus 4. So half of 0 is 0 plus 4. Now we're going to do the 2. 1 half. Now I'll replace the 2. x with a 2. Oops, that's a 4, sorry. All right, so half of 2 is 1, plus 4 is 5. And then our last one, f of 8. So it's 1 half, 8 plus 4. So half of 8 is 4, plus 4 is 8. And those are my answers. And that's it.